What exactly are these protecting against? Uh, circuit breakers protect you from an overload or a short circuit. Those are your two things. So an overload is I plug too many devices into an outlet. I've got the hair dryer, the space heater, and yes. the toaster going. It pulls too much energy across that That's wire. Correct. That heats up and maybe you get a fire. Uh, heats up, it can create a fire on the wire. So it protects the overload capability in that instance. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, cutting a wire by accident is the short circuit version. And it'll just simply trip off. Um, and you'll notice it when you go down to the box and you can turn it back on and reset that It can circuit. go all the way off, or sometimes it'll go in the middle, actually. Right, OK. Now, there is also uh, in here, you brought us an arc fault circuit interrupter. That's correct. What is that protecting against? It protects us against the same items that the short circuit and the overload that a standard or conventional circuit breaker protects you. However, it goes to the next level of protection and protects you from real small sparks or real small arcs. Mm -hmm. um, a typical situation may be where you have a plug that's extending an outlet in a room going across to the other side of the room to give you um, a dresser outlet, and you would use this. Mm -hmm. Well, to hide it, you would put it underneath the carpet. Right. And in this situation, it shows you that it got worn out from walking on the carpet, hmm. and it creates a sparking situation or an, a faulting situation. This is where it literally jumps from one wire to the other, or there's a small connection creating that arc, which is really a spark. That's correct. Now we've also got ground fault circuit interrupters and we see them I think almost all the time in wet areas like kitchens and bathrooms. Um, I recognize this one because it's got two buttons on the front. You can literally test it and reset it right there. Um, what are these protecting us against? Um, the GFCI outlet is protecting against ground faults. Any ground fault is where electricity travels the path of ground. And an instance where I can show you that is the right side of the receptacle is your power or your hot wire, as mm -hmm. they call it. And if you go to the neutral, you can see the illumination of the voltage tester is showing you that there's power in this receptacle. So it's coming out and then going back through the neutral, back into the outlet there like it's supposed to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now when I take the power, which is right there, and I touch it to a known grounded source, which could be water that is touching something metal, oh. it shuts off. So in this case, the electricity was coming out, but it wasn't going back through neutral. It was going to that ground wire. That's correct. That's the problem. Yes. And so what they've designed is the device for life safety with any sort of ground fault, whether someone's got wet feet and mm -hmm. they touch something that's live or in a bathroom or a kitchen instance where everything's wet. So it's only if you touch ground, correct? If you touch something else that wasn't sure. grounded. So we have power here, and if I touch the wood bench, which is not grounded, not a, it will not trip. Terrific, all right. Now, in this case, ground fault protection is built into this outlet, but you can actually get GFCI protection other ways, and in fact, you brought us an extension cord. That's correct, uh, Kevin. This is in a cord adapter that allows you to get GFCI protection where you don't have it in a device mm -hmm. or a receptacle that's non-protected, you would plug it in. And the receptacle now is protected through these three plugs and you can plug your Christmas lights or skill saw in and it has the same LED indicator on it that the device has. So this is a GFCI circuit breaker right here? That's correct. Huh. And this this is protecting this outlet right here on the same with the same um, with the same effect as a receptacle does. And, and I notice it also has a test button so by pushing out it trips and then I can just simply reset it. Same deal with the um, arc fault circuit interrupter? Yes, that's correct. And what of these devices is code? They're all code, Kevin. They have different applications. The arc fault circuit protection is required in all homes that are built now. And the GFCI protection is required in bathrooms, basements, outside, mm. and kitchens, wherever so there's water. Arc fault for all buildings uh, built now. So this is for new construction. New construction or renovating if you need to protect the circuit for arc fault. OK, yes. so we may still have some of these older circuit breakers in the box. And this is a good time to update them to either arc fault or GFCI. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Well, some good, safe information, Scott. Thank you very My much. My pleasure. Thank you.